What's up everybody, Ryan Parasol, the Occupational Memers here, back with another episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. This is part 12 that we're on. Last time that we left off, we uh, went through a, another one of these gates in time, another uh, temporal rift or whatever you want to call it, and uh, we ended up here, and yeah, I know, pretty weird, no fucking clue what the hell's going on here. Well, I mean, I know, obviously, I've played this game before, but I've actually not played this game before, or at least I'm pretending not to have played this game before. So, where the fuck are we? Let's go through here. You can use this and HP and MP restore. Alright. And there's a guy here, so we might as well talk to him. There's not really anything else to do. Can we go through this door yet? It's firmly sealed. I don't know what these things are. Yep. Don't know what those things are. This bucket here is pretty relevant. We'll do something with that in a second. Or at least we'll talk about it. We won't actually do it. But. More drifters. Drifters, where are we? It's not a question of where, my friend, so much as when. This is the end of time. Travelers lost in time's flow turn up here, much like driftwood on a beach. Might I ask where you are from? From 1000 AD. Come from the year. 2380. When four more entities of varying origin ever em enter a temporal rift together, the torsion exerted on time's flow pushes them to the point of least resistance here. There are a number of folks turning up here unintended recently, like yourselves. I fear something is having a powerful effect on the very fabric of time. Which means it would be safest if one of us stayed here. Here alone? It is a bleak place, isn't it? For we not, for all its desolations, it is well connected. There are roads here to any time you could ever wish to visit. Should you so desire, you can call upon your friends at any time. Though you can never travel in groups of more than three. One must must remain. Fool to be, Chrono. So, again, this is... Part of this is... It acts as, like, the hub of the game. Right? So we can go here and get our party members, um... And heal and other stuff we can do here. Part of this is like the plot's excuse for you only being able to have a party of three at all times and part of it is just cool like this is like the end of existence is where this is this is like there's no no date for this place because it's just it's the end this is the end of time so i'm gonna leave robo just because i like this squad of people but robo's i mean robo is definitely stronger he's definitely a better you better character than luca or marl right now but i like luca and marl better Yeah, so the Pillars of Light are um, basically gates to any time period. I don't know what that... Oh man, hey. What? Oh yeah, and then he tells us to do that too, so... Yeah. So. We'll do that in a second. Um, but yeah, they, these each lead to like different... Oh, they won't even let me show. I was going to try to show what the, uh, where the gates lead. Um, we're not going to do that. Let's save and then do something. Actually, I'm just going to make a save state anyway, so I don't need to save. But. Can we use this yet? No, maybe you have to do this stuff first. So yeah, in here we can learn about magic. So I was telling you that um, these three characters needed a, like a teacher or whatever to unlock their next levels of text. Um, that's this guy. What are you looking at? I'm Specchio, the Master of War. I watch all kinds of battles from here. So how do I look? So, this is, yeah, this will be, fun. I'll just say weak. How I look depends on how strong we are. If you're strong, or if we're strong, uh, he's strong. If we're weak, he looks weak. You, you got it in you, don't you? That must be the old guy let you through. A long time ago, before you were born, there was a kingdom where magic flourished. That might be foreshadowing something. But the people abused their powers and end up destroying the place. After that, there wasn't anyone who could use magic well except the fiends. But you have it, the inner strength. I mean, magic needs power of heart. That's where it flows from you. There are four types of magic. I was just explaining this a little bit uh, earlier, too. Fire, water, light, and shadow. 
Not everyone's got the same type. The punk hairdo, he's got light. The gal with the ponytails has water. And the girl with the goofy glasses is fire. Yeah, I was explaining all that. Okay, so we have to run around the circles and three times and say, I want to use magic or something. I don't know. I, get the <laughs> I have no fucking clue what the hell's up with this. I want to use magic. 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 I think that was three. Well done. Magical. Magic. Yours. Magic. Magic. I'll fortify the magic, yeah. So you can, okay, so what you can do is you can fight this guy and you get stuff for that. And he gets more powerful based on how strong you are. Like he was explaining. Not only does he look more powerful, he is more powerful too. Okay, so Krona has lightning, which is like the level one light spell. She has ice, so finally she can do some damage. And he has fire. Yeah, so you'll see Marl and Luca have pretty high magic stats. They're doing a lot there. And Krona... Krona's is actually pretty respectable still. But it's not as high as... Um... Everyone else. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, he's gonna kill Krona. Let's do this. I wanna beat this guy. I don't think I'll be able to get it off in time. There we go. Damn it. Live. Oh, so close. Live. We did four more. Let's see if we can, um... Kill him. I don't think we can. We'll try him again, though. Because you don't, like... You don't, like, die if you lose to him. I don't think. Yeah, so we'll we're gonna try him again, but um, I'm gonna actually make oops, I'm gonna make a safe set. Okay, and what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, he just um, if you make new friends, get new party members, you can bring them here and unlock their magical abilities uh, if they can use magic. Robo cannot, so he's one of the few characters that cannot. We're gonna play this pretty conservatively, I think. We have Mar Marl heal like every turn. Um, where's fucking Aura? Let's actually just do this then. Hopefully that heals enough. Oh, it didn't heal that much. We need another one. Is he gonna die? I think so. Oh my god, two. I don't know if we're gonna be able to beat this guy at all, but I'm gonna try. She had a stronger healing spell. Oh my god, he actually just did 186, and her total HP is 186. Yeah. I'll come back when we're a little stronger. Hey. Must be eager to finish this thing you seem so intent on doing, but why? First, pay uh, visit back to your own era. Haste makes waste, and you'll find that even truer here. 
Come and see me whenever you have need. Think of me as your guide on Times Road. So what's where does this place take us? Okay, so that takes us to the arena. Which you can also access from the main menu. And then up here we have Medina Village, which is where we're going to go, I believe. Yeah, Protodome. And the Mystic Mountains. 65 million BC. Uh that's Hmm. I think we're gonna go to Medina Village first. We'll see what's up with that. Um, Medina Village is not our hometown, but it is our home time period. So, see what's going on there. 65 million BC, that's pretty gonna be pretty crazy though, obviously. So, but first, I wanna show this off, because it's really... I'm not sure if I'm gonna go, but... That gate leads to 1999 A.D., the day of Lavos, uh, the day the world ended. If you wish to see the world destroyed before your very own eyes, then by all means, go. But know that you yourselves may share the same fate. So yeah, you can actually go to the day that the world ends and fight the final boss. Or, er, you can fight Lavos, essentially is what happens. This is one of the coolest Easter eggs in the game to me. There's a lot of really cool Easter eggs, but like these little, the fact that you can like go and just fight Lavos is so cool to me. There it is. This is the scene we saw earlier. There he is. Lavos. Fight him. Doan and the others too. Ours was a short youth. Alright. It's just a prank guys. We're obviously not going to fight the final boss right now. Um, well for one we can't. He would destroy us but... Also, we want to experience the rest of the game, obviously. So, Just a prank. It's just a social experiment, guys. Don't worry about it. Um, what do we want to do? We're going to go to Medina Village. You just bust out of these monsters' pantry, I guess. Came out of my wardrobe, didn't you? What are you doing in here? Who do you think you are, coming and going from someone else's wardrobe at all hours of the night? Humans, I tell you. They're not even, like, that concerned. Medina is a village of fiends founded by our ancestors when they lost the war against humankind 400 years ago. Most of the townsfolk still have a grudge against humans, so be careful. There's an odd human... Who lives near a cave in the mountains to the west? He may be able to help you out. Cool. Thanks. I thought humans were supposed to go. It's been 400 years since man warred against fiend. There's no use living in the past. Of course, not many of the other fiends agree with that. Well, we're lucky we popped out of the wardrobe of some nice fiends. Medina Square. Let's pop it in Medina Square. It's that creepy chanting. They're like worshipping some statue or something. Great fiend lord. The fiend lord Magus, who gave life to the almighty Lavos to aid us, and once Lavos awakens from his long slumber, the human race is doomed. The fiend lord delivered Lavos unto us. Huh. Interesting. The fiend lord delivered Lavos. So, I guess the root of all the problems are, uh, come from this fiend lord guy from, and he's in, he resides in 600, uh, 
AD. Yeah, so if you go to any um, shops or anything like that, you can plead, and then he'll charge you a ridiculous price. Yeah. Or, no, he won't even charge you a ridiculous price. He'll just um, send his little guys after you. I think if you beat him, he charges you like an insane price to, uh, to shop here. And they're so close to all getting one shot. That sucks. If only I had like um, Robo's laser whirl, laser spin thingy. We learned antipode bomb. We'll use that. That's a really sweet tech. Yes, yeah, so over 200 gil. Yeah. And it's the same way here you fight that guy if you plead. But we're not going to do that. That's the residence that we came out of, I think. And it's the elder's house. So this is the village elder. He's Ozzy the Eighth. His great 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 grandfather fought against the humans on the side of the Fiend Lord himself. Oh, great Fiend Lord. Why didn't you exterminate the human race four centuries ago when you had the chance. This work is brutal. This Ozzy guy is an asshole. Last that Ozzy, always hiding behind his ancestral fame to boss us around. We got a speed capsule. We'll probably give that to Marl, maybe. Magic capsule. We'll probably give that to Luca. Or Marl. Yeah, we'll give it to Marl. Because I plan on using her all the time, all the time, because I love Marl. She's my best girl. She is definitely my favorite character in this game. We'll use that on Marl, and we'll use... Um, where's the magic capsule? There it is. Use that on you too. I like Ayla a lot too. We'll get her later, but... Um. Okay, so right here, Forest Ruins. I don't think we can do anything with this yet. This is one of the additional content things um, that was only in the DS version. Yeah, later we can like break the seal and we can get stuff or something like that, but that's a DS exclusive um, thing. And then the village of the cave that they're, uh, the man in the cave that they were talking about is I believe up here? No, maybe not. He must be down south. Southwest, he would be. I think I said southwest, actually, so I'm stupid. Yeah, here he is. Melchior. So I told you that Melchior would be important when we met him at the fair. This is the guy that sold us the weapons at the fair. Interesting in a weapon. I'll give you a special price. Yeah, he's. Oh, he also is the guy that tried to buy um. Marl's necklace. Crimson blade. So we're definitely gonna get that. Bandit's bow. Sure, he has one. And then you. I think we already have a plasma gun too. Actually, we just forgot to equip it. I think so. Yeah. And then he has the hammer arm. Is there anything for him? No, it's just the hammer arm. And then titanium vest. We'll buy two of those. Give the gals some defense. Okay. Let's explore this guy's house. There's nothing. I'm pressing A on everything. Well, they said he'd help us, but he didn't really do anything except. So Except for uh, sells so weapons, which I guess is nice. But we're gonna go in here though. Hecarim Cave. Hecarim Cave. Death to enemies of the fiend kind. Let's do. Actually, let's show off Antipode Bomb. So Antipode Bomb is these two. It's fire and ice together. It's an AOE spell too. I don't think it's a full screen. It's just like an AOE blast, like around where you cast it. Look at that damage, though. 
They probably are weak to one of the elements. It does fire and water damage. Um, and they're probably weak to one of them. Oh, sorry, I just bumped my mic. I hope that wasn't too loud. Um, yeah. They're probably weak to one of them, because that did fucking crazy damage, but... I mean, it does do crazy damage either way, so... I don't know, that might have just been the actual damage it does. Okay. Oh, he's sending out the goons. Can't cycle on any of them. Let's see if Antipode Bomb. Um, it's enough of an AoE to hit multiple people here. No, it's not. Well, let's do this then. He missed. Oh, he missed because he's blind. He was blinded. Yeah, he's still blinded. She's taking a lot of damage here. Zoinks. still blind up. I think blind just lowers your accuracy by like a lot and it doesn't make you always miss but it lowers it significantly so that's why I tried to hit him just because maybe he would hit I didn't feel like wasting uh, any more TP that battle let's actually do this oh I guess you can't I thought you could use this outside of battle Guess you can't. Okay. Alright. See how much damage these are, how much health these guys have. Holy crap, they're tanky. You gotta hit them with magic. really wanted that to hit both of them, but oh my god, they're really tanky. He almost died from that. I can probably finish him off with this. Oh, two damage. He, so he lived with less than two from the flamethrower. It's crazy. We want to go. Let's get this first. Yeah, there you go. Mid ether. I think I'm gonna antipode bomb the two. No, I'm not. Yeah, well. Fuck it. I mean, using antipode bomb on two people is the same level of efficiency as having them each cast fire and ice individually on each one. So. Yeah, so that that's more like reasonable damage for it to do, 270, which is still awesome damage, so. Can't believe it actually did like 900 to that first guy. He must have been weak to like fire and ice or something, or had crazy low magic resist. Let's check out our techs, shall we? So Cleave, he, that's the next one he's going to learn, 138 TP to get that. She's going to learn Cure, 128 for that. And then she's going to learn Napalm, 138 for that. And then Robo is still working on uh, Robo Tackle. Well, he's not working on it right now. Next time he's in our party, he will be. And he'll be back in our party. I'm not going to never use him. I just don't like him as much as these two. But I'll get all the text for all the characters.
Let's see if these guys have ridiculous magic resist, because it seems like everybody here does. Well, so we'll just do that then, because it seems like they also have pretty high... Not high magic resist, I think that's what I said. I meant, uh... High physical defense, low magic resist. Dang, lots of enemies here. Man, <laughs> everybody here takes no damage from physical attacks. Let's do that. Oh, I thought I got two of them. Yeah, I should just antipode bomb. Should just antipode bomb every turn. I don't want to waste so much TP, but I don't really have a choice. I wonder if I can finish him off with all physical attacks. We'll try. <laughs> we got two crits in a row. Maybe with that we will be able to. There we go. Magic Scarf. Okay. That is... Like, there we go. Magic plus two. So now she's going to be dishing out the deeps with her uh, spells. Which is exactly what I like to see. It's eerily quiet in this area. Alright, well, I'm not going to make the mistake of trying to physically attack anything anymore. Let's wait so we can get a three man. I'm wasting a lot of time here. Oh, I think we only got two because they moved at the last second. Man. No, I still got all three. Okay, cool. This part's going to be long. Yeah, it's going to be a long part. I should have cut this earlier. I'm going to cut it before the boss of the cave, though. Should be soon. Man, so many enemies. Oh, we can get all three. Nice. She might kill him, and then we won't get all three, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Should get these two still, though. Okay. That works. We wasted the magic. Well, it wasn't actually a waste. It wasn't a waste. To use Marl's ice spell. I don't want to fight you. I want to get finish this part. If we don't find the boss real soon, I'm going to just cut the part. But I would like to cut right before the boss. Yeah. Save point. Which means the boss is probably up soon. Like, up the next room, so. Let's use a shelter, and then... I'm going to stop the recording here. This has been Ryan with the Occupational Memers. Ryan Parasol. That's, uh, that's what I go by, I guess. Um... That was part 12, I believe. Yeah, part 12. So until next time, uh, have a great day, everybody. Um, next time, we'll fight the boss of this area and move on.